talk about born with a silver spoon in your mouth, Caton Williams' child stands to inherit over a billion dollars. That's after tossing up the total net worth of the Queen at 660 million, Charles at 370 million, and William at 20 million dollars. The Queen's wealth comes from her castles and palaces, a huge art collection, a fruit farm, and her stamp collection. Factor in things like tourism and the crown jewels, and the royal family business could be worth a whopping $67 billion. Of course, all this is without the royal baby having lifted a finger yet. And it's not including Kate's family's own multi-million pound estate or her parents' party planning business, said to be worth $45 million. Her millionaire uncle has apparently earmarked a $100,000 rocking elephant, but although it could be the richest royal baby in modern history, it could also break with royal tradition. Kate and William have vowed to be thoroughly modern parents, and just because their firstborn is third in line to the throne won't stop that. The Duke and Duchess are planning on hiring zero nannies, instead caring for the kid themselves. What we've seen with, um, with William and Kate up to date is that they uh, lead as normal a life as they possibly can, given the um, rather curious world in which they live. So you can be fairly certain that they will be both very hands-on parents and they will be very anxious to give the child as normal an upbringing as possible. So while baby Cambridge could become one of the richest royals ever, he or she can also expect to be more like the rest of us than any royal baby before. Joel Flynn, Reuters. I know a guy.